Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, <laughs> we had been doing a couple of side missions, mainly to build up money to buy more equipment and also build up street cred in the same manner. And so far, so good. Also, that doesn't look right. <laughs> We're heading to the main server in one of the mega buildings to... What was it? Oh yeah, distract uh, someone for... Who is it? Uh, bad. Apparently going to do an attack on something. I'm, I'm not recollecting all that well <laughs> i should probably open up the... a problem yeah a little i should probably open up the journal just to refresh my brain ah there we go uh we're uploading bad's malware so that way we're basically doing a smoke screen there we go that's the word ah for some reason my brain didn't want to come up with that word uh basically to attack this building to act as a smoke screen for his actual attack and makes them think that this is what we're doing when in fact or rather what bad's doing when in fact it's not it's just me doing okay. okay. Oh. <laughs> that was what the noise was. I heard it and I was like, um, uh, should I, should I, uh, not be here? <laughs> I was listening to the other conversation as we were traveling down and then I heard that. I was so confused. Okay, uh, upload it, but uh, being quiet is probably a good idea. Um, whoop, whoop. Tatsuya Takei. Uh, part of the Tiger Claws. Alright, I'm going to turn off this. But first, time to breach. Go this route. Ta-da. Done. And before it turns around to me, remote deactivation ha. since I breach protocol the area I could use some quick hacks to knock him out but he's resisting the short circuit but weak to overheat boop <laughs> didn't mean to stand up Okay, someone was screaming at him, do not touch. Not sure why, but okay. It is what it is. Huh. These are other tiger claws, but racketeer and racketeer. They're not named like this guy. Hmm. Interesting. I know I saw another camera over here, too. I'm trying to make sure I can... Whoop. Psy-doodle! <laughs> okay. There's the camera. Okay. <laughs> ah, I was trying to avoid having issues happen. While also, you know... Trying to deal with the camera. Okay. Um... I'm not sure if I'll be able to make this run. Uh, 
Am I knocking? I am knocking down bottles. Well. Would you, would you please stop? Please. I'm trying to be sneaky here. I said please. Okay. I'm thinking reboot optics. That might let me get through. Problem is, I don't know where the other guys are going to be once I make this move. But it might be the only move I'm allowed to get. So, grab. Uh, this is going to be the problem if I don't deal with him quick. Swore a little early. Sorry, Reggie. You're going to kill me for it. It's fine. Contracts. Okay. Uh, take that. Whoops. <laughs> That's wrong button. And read this. Glitter. A hundred doses. Arasaka boy. Those are the only things I can recognize out of all this gibberish. Arasaka boy, 250 doses to Jotaro. Huh. I don't know if this was a broken thing or not, but those are all I can recognize. Well, hi there, buddy. You're real close, aren't you? Well, let's drag you over here and make you not so close. Make you real quiet now. Here we go. All right, take all of this. Boy, oh boy. This is going to be a problem because all of them are clustered around here. Or were. Okay, well, you are facing the other direction. That's good for me. You're going this way, and I'm hoping... Not eventually figuring out what I'm doing. Make a move. Make a move. Make the move, make the move, make the move, make the move. Gotta make the move, gotta make the move. Okay, I'm getting over here. And you're dead. And we're good. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ha ha ha. Trying to be sneaky. And I am stressing myself out for it. Oh boy. Blaming Bartmoss. Did I already, didn't I already read this at some point? When I imagine what the net was like before Bartmoss, I see thousands of potential threats and thousands of opportunities. Of course, the whole system was unstable, corporal runners pulling one way, post-war rogue AIs pulling the other, financial markets tanked, virus mutations spiraled into uncontrollable ways, and runners got cooked in their living rooms every now and then. Bartmoss saw the net as a grenade waiting for the pin to get pulled, and that's exactly what he did. Fuck it, right? Let the world burn. Bartmoss fucked the system, but fucked all of us right along with it. Just look at it now. Corpse were on top as usual. The black wall, which was supposed to protect us after the net's crash, is just another control tool the net in the net watch's arsenal. Talking is hard. Before Bartmoss Bartmoss I said it right. Before Bartmoss, the net was an untamed jungle. If you could navigate it, you had a chance to survive. You were free. After Bartmoss, the net's like an airport security check. Every step you take, Netwatch is checking your papers and performing a thorough cavity search. Oh, but all for your own good, of course. Right. Yeah. Well, one way or another, it was bound to happen. Just sounds like Bart Moss was the one who pulled the trigger on it. 
pop turd. It sounds like a mix between pop tarts and that one candy that actually advertises itself as unicorn turds. Yes, I've seen this candy, and no, I haven't had it, because I'm still weirded out by the concept. Okay. So, what do I do here? Well, the obvious answer would be going for the one C's, then lead into the five five, and then run into B D. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like B D is available in that route. Huh. Unless I take it the other way. I can do it the other way. Alright. E9, 5, 5, 1C, 1C, 5, 5. Ha 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 ha! Booyah. Alright. Love it. Gotta love it. Okay, so we have. This guy facing this way, and the other guy looks to be whoa, behind a door. So I shouldn't worry about that. Oh, you're doing little paint? Hey, buddy, it looks good. Show you how well it looks. Taking out an artist in their prime. I should feel bad. I don't, though. Anyway, moving on. Well! You are... Yuri Shaku. You... are the runner. And you won't pay attention to a thing I do because you are hooked into the net. <laughs> so you weren't even a threat in the first place. Oh boy. That's great. Take that. Take that. You'll have nothing. You'll have nothing once you come out. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, mono wire thermal damage. Not something I'm going to be getting, but at least break that down for parts later. And oh, this is the computer I have to in Oh, I have to install the malware from here. Oh boy. And there's nothing really to do on this computer but install the malware. Leave the server room. This is not an effect this runner at any point. I guess not. I expected it to. Don't know why I expected it to, but I expected it to. Her first novel, Requiem for a Samurai, which was published in 70 languages simultaneously, sold over 3 million copies. In the shade of an apple That tree, is April impressive. 70 million, 70 languages simultaneously and sold 3 million copies. Man, I could only wish for that. But, the, but oh. <laughs> I was trying to pick up the item, couldn't, and then noticed a prompt. And I was like, oh, maybe? But no. Oh, you dropped your gun. Okay. Might as well pick that up while I'm here. Oh, I could go this route to get out of here. Huh. Instead of the route I took to get up. Well, down here, rather. I said up. <laughs> I said up, and that's not right at all. Okay, so that's the route I took. Nice. 
This is the route I'm going to take to get out of here. <laughs> there we go. Up my engineering. Oh, that's another thing I can do to up my levels, which I should have done. But I always forget about the cameras once I've turned them off remotely. And there's that. Perfect. And the other camera was right here. All right. And I'm looting... I'm looting components off of them as I do it. I did not know that. did not know I could do that. Fine. I'm fine with that. A cube. I was hoping I could get out of there before the door closed on me. Who will? Ground floor. Biodyne systems have announced a breakthrough in the fight against multiple sclerosis. Mm. MS is one of the few diseases that cannot be cured by replacing the affected tissue with implant technology. But the experts at Biodyne have created nanites that, when injected into the spinal cord, provide oh, long term uninterrupted repair to the neural tissue. The cost of this cutting-edge therapy treatment has been listed at 700,000 euro dollars per month. For the second consecutive week, mm. the landfill inferno in the remnants of Atlanta... To hold the cure to MS and then price That's it like happy, that. Which Jesus. means I'm happy, which means you get your eddies and everyone's happy. Contract closed. Thanks, V. You're welcome. Not a problem. Oh, there's... There's that. I'll deal with that later. <laughs> I'll deal with my inventory later. Uh, there's no real reason to right now. Mainly because I'm not overburdened yet. Uh, yeah, I'm sitting at 114. That ain't too bad. Okay, next mission I should be doing... Rescue the person located here. Oh... Rescue mission, you say? Well, I mean, I don't see why not. You are neon red. <laughs> nice. Good for you, girl. All right. Let's get out of here. And let's call for my car. Actually, you know what? My actual car. They're both stuck in the same spot. <laughs> uh, well, hey. They're right there. I'm okay with this. And the bike goes away. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's fine. It's probably heading back to the garage or something. All right. Yeah, this is the music I want to listen to when I get into my car. <laughs> uh, Sideswiped another car, but it's fine. Hey V, got this client. Not the brightest bulb in the bunch. Mm -hmm. Got himself into some serious trouble. Needs to leave town ASAP. Okay. More intel attached. Okay. Huang Bo. You know that classic comedy setup where a gonk gets into serious trouble and only some, like, misanthropic hard-ass can save him? Well, let that be your guiding plot for today. The gonk in question is called Huang Bo. He did some small-time work for the Tiger Claws, but instead of keeping his head down and being patient, he took a shortcut and stole from his own gang. Oh my gods. Yeah, you're right, he is a gonk. <laughs> Fuck. Genius, right? Not only that, but the whole thing had his name written all over it. So he couldn't even pass it off as someone else. Great job. Huang Bo's marked for death, meaning he has to disappear. The faster, the better. I already found a nomad smuggler, but someone still needs to get him from one end of the city to another. But if he's spotted out in the street, the Tiger Claws will know about it. You know what you gotta do, right? So let's get to it. He's holed up somewhere in the motel on Martin which is right here 
I'm gonna need my gun out. Gonna need it real bad. Oh boy. Fine, Huangbo. Okay. I probably shouldn't ask questions about. Um. Uh. I saw a ghost. <laughs> clearly. I clearly saw a ghost. The ghost of Huangbo. <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> oh no. Dumb joke. You. Thanks for the money. <laughs> Bye. Said nothing. Must be strung out. Out of his gourd. Alright. Well, hi there. Uh, not you. Oh, I can't open you. But you're clearly not the room I want. But I'm able to go in here, so I'm taking it. Whee! Flight of the Cheetah. Meet Huangbo in room 1237. Well, that answers that. Well, hi there. Yeah, but everyone calls me Cheetah, because, you know, I'm fast, like a cheetah. Hurry up, getting a SIG. Two cars packed with tigers heading straight for the motel. Crap. Nobody calls you that. You that. <laughs> How'd you get here? <sighs> By car. Parked not too far from here. Let me do the driving. Oh. Yeah, and well, now he's realized that they're here. My name is spelled Dzeng. D Z E N G for fuck's sake. Okay. I'll be honest, I didn't want to write this book, but they paid me, so here it is. Well, actually, it was written by a ghostwriter. Hey, Jake. Just kidding. I haven't lost all my self respect. Not yet. So, who even reads books nowadays? Ow. <laughs> it hurts. I thought people who only bought them to decorate their apartments. Ow. At least that's what I do. By the way, wouldn't it be better to just get rid of shelves altogether? Something to think about. Well, I mean, shelves are still useful for other things too, but okay, whatever you say. So where was I? Oh, right. The pub so the publisher told me that they want to publish my autobiography, and do I have any questions? Of course I asked them if I could swear like the drunken sailor I am, and they said, sure, we'll see. Shit, fuck. Looking <laughs> at it works. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that, but it's fucking funny. <laughs> now that that's over with, let's move on. You might have seen me on TV where I host a satirical show called Info Flash. It's a pretty sweet gig. Once a week, I get to read smarmy jokes off a teleprompter written by our interns, and they pay me more than you make in a year. Isn't capitalism fabulous? Yeah, yeah it is. I also need a drink of my energy drink just to handle <laughs> this. All right, but how did I get here, you ask? Simple. One of my dad's colleagues was a showrunner at N54 News, okay, so it's just classic nepotism. Okay, great. That makes me feel so much better. And suddenly I found myself going around with a coffee pot. Refills, anyone? It was all unpaid, of course. Okay, so it wasn't all the way nepotism. Okay. Better. Apart from that, there wasn't much to do, so you could usually find me out back talking, taking one of my hundred or so daily smoke breaks. Boy, do I know a couple of people who are like that. For some reason, people thought I was funny. Somehow, the shit that came out of my mouth made grown men cry with laughter, so they plopped me down in front of a camera, and I just kind of winged it from there. How do you get to where I am? Well, you can't, because your dad doesn't have a showrunner friend at N54. It's not like they're going to pluck some rando off the street. Don't you know people like me aren't supposed to rub so 
owners with bottom feeders like you. Oh, and did I already mention that capitalism is fabulous? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh my god, this is both Jake and Logan Paul. <laughs> Just in a book. <laughs> in book form. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. Or whatever. Whatever. I'm done. <laughs> Do I look blind or deaf to you? Well, they shut your trap if you don't want to eat lead. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. Shut your mouth. I will loot your apartment and then I will help you. In that order. So shut up. Oh, okay. Oh, someone's yelling. Presumably for him. But I don't care. Because I'm jacking into this laptop. That is an unfortunate turn of phrase. Okay. So. Hmm. Well, this one's not going to work out the way I'd hoped. Uh, well, let's go for... The easiest one. That I can manage. Which is five. BD. BD. 1C. 55. There we go. I got the majority of them. That's all I was hoping for. And I think the looting is done. It is. Oh, I can't get that thing, but whatever. It's stuck in the couch for some reason. And I'm connecting to this. Getting more. Getting more quick hack components. Hell yeah. Okay. Um. Oh. This one won't be that bad. As long as I can get the E9 thing to work. And I might be able to. BD, BD, E9... Uh-oh. There's the problem. I didn't connect. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oops. Oopsie doopsie. Oopsie doopsie. Okay. Uh. E9. E9. Five, five. Okay. I got most of them. I got most of them. That's good enough for me. And let's see. Oh, yeah. They did come in with a whole lot of tiger claws. <laughs> Okay, uh, breach protocol real quick, just to get that done and over with. Good. So that way I can just use some quick hacks on them. And hopefully, deal with most of them. One fell swoop. Okay, uh, you... I, I did the thing, I did breach protocol. No cut down at all? Well, that sucks. What about you? Oh, it did for you. Well, that's good. You are Fujiwara Tamon. Okay, well. Got you. And Synapse Burnout on top of it. And that should... Deal with you. Okay. Who's trying to find me? Who's trying to find me? God damn it. Oh, God damn it. I can't find who's trying to find me. Alright, well. Screw it. Doesn't matter. Oh. Damn it. Me hit. Come on. Oh, geez. Okay, grenade. That's not good. Really? Oh, Jesus. You're just, you're just standing there. Oh, I'm blind. I'm blind. Great. I got you. Got you. You're just standing there. And they didn't... <laughs> they didn't bother shooting at him at all when he's standing right there get shot at. Whatever. 
Nope. Oh, come on. Down you go. Oh boy. I suck. Oh. <laughs> there you are. Oh. Didn't realize there was a camera there. Well. Too bad for it. And these guys. Okay. Let's get out of here. As quick as possible, shall we? Going to his car? Do we really have to go to his car? Okay, well. I'm gonna loot these guys before we do that. Oh, you're not dead. Now we fix that. Pop turd, okay, well. Ooh, sidewinder. And there we go. No, that's not bad. Close that. And let's get out of here, shall we? Go to Huangbo's car. Force it open. Booyah. Alright. Who's this guy? It's just a... Breno Neto. His criminal record does not exist. Okay. Well. Really? You call yourself the cheetah and you drive this fucking thing? Really? Okay, whatever. That was a close call, but we did it. We. If it wasn't for me, you'd be a stain on a motel floor. Yeah, pretty much. Whoop. Bye, sign. Bye, car. I'll be back soon. Or at least you'll be back soon. Calls himself the cheetah, and he drives this thing. Right. Okay. Whoa. You got some kind of nickname? Nope. Nope. Damn, well, you got to come up with something. Street cred will tank. Oh. Hey, there we go. Okay, we're here. Get out. Wait, but are those guys cool? They won't harvest my kidneys, <laughs> kidneys the second you leave? Reggie hired and direct. Ran the spec herself. Okay, okay, I'm going. And thanks for your help back at the motel. You're welcome. What? what? Welcome to reality. Flawless work, V. Huangbo thinks your nickname should be the Furious Lion, so I guess he's happy. Closing the gig, I sending you the cred. Guess so. Although I would have preferred Tiger, because that's correct. I don't know about the Furious part, but sure. The what? The what the hell going on here? Oh, these are all Maelstrom people. Well, I guess they'll be pissy at me if I do anything with them. And quite frankly... Eh, I kind of want to mess with them, just a little bit. So, pop, pop, pop. Better. And we'll turn this off. Turn that. Initiate overload. <laughs> hey there, buddies. How you doing? Will you now? So far, I'm not seeing you. So I don't believe you. I'm really not believing them. There we go. 
They said they'll kill me. And they haven't come over here yet. So I really don't believe them. Threat detector, huh? That ain't too bad. Yet. Sir. Hmm. Weird. It sounds like someone is either in one of these or not sure. Really not sure. Huh. Well, not gonna be able to find that out. Apparently putting away my gun had a shockwave effect or something. <laughs> oh, was that? Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, that was bullshit. Yeah, well. <laughs> that's probably what it was. I don't know and I don't care. That was funny. Okay. Alrighty. Well, that's another drop box to get rid of my stuff. Okay. Well, missions are done. My street cred is at 32. <laughs> Oh, God, it's so slow. Thievery. Well, I don't see why not. Man, this area is just empty expanse. Alright. Well, on the way, there's a merc needed thing, so... Might as well do that, right? Might as well. That's close enough I can run it. Oh, but first thing, I need to heal something fierce. Gotta get into the inventory and get some food. Wow, I have a whole bunch of crap in here. The threat detector, that's actually pretty good. Um, that is not. <laughs> okay, food, 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 food. Cat food? It'll have you purring in no time. <laughs> I hate 666 grams of temptation. All right, that I will have. That I will eat. All right. Uh, crafting, I guess. I could look into that, see if there's anything special I could do. Or upgrades or something. Um, hmm. Technically, I could upgrade my guns. Oh, wow, I have fallen behind on this one. Bring it up to... There we go. Reached level 18. Oh, crap. <laughs> now I have to wait for next level to do it. What about this one? Get this done. And reach level 18 for that. I'm surprised that Dying Knight is technically stronger in the DPS department than the Nui. At max level. But I guess it makes sense. They are... You know, iconic. So it makes sense. Uh, reduces weapon sway by 50%. That's the main reason why I like this one. As much as I do. Engineered to fit any hand. That I also like as a tagline. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, since I've done that, uh, might as well break down some of my guns that I, well, smart double barrel shotgun, that short? Okay, that's weird. Um, break down the ones I'm not going to keep. That one I might keep. Mainly because of the bullet spread thing. And that's good. Melee weapons don't need a bat in any capacity. These are fine. Ooh. Oh, this isn't worth nothing. That ain't worth spit. Uh, that is not really worth spit either. So we'll just get rid of that entirely. New stuff here. Hmm. Not worth it. But there is decent 
stuff here. Hmm. Those aren't terrible. This isn't terrible either. Although the crit chance is not really what I'm looking for because what I have currently is a higher crit chance than that. This old edge runner. Eh, I don't want to get rid of it. Okay. Crafting up to nine. Beautiful. All right. Now that I've done that, time to run to the mission and at least see what the gist of it is. So listen, Maelstrom's got this Ripper doc. Thing is, they're keeping her against her will, forcing her to work. Oh. Could you go grab her from those psychos? Her brother would be grateful. Deets attached. Gotcha. Okay. Rescue Lucy Thackeray. Blood looks out for blood. Birdie's a leadhead who was gonk enough to join up with Maelstrom. Realized pretty quick the psycho gang operates by simple rules. You stay, you die, or you pay. In comes his sister, Lucy, who chose option number three. Instead of hard scratch, she bought out her bro's freedom with her expertise and services. She put three months of cyberware repair on the table. Problem is, five months have already come and gone. Now in comes you. This gig's on Bertie's dime. Guess he had a few extra eddies stuffed in his mattress. I guess so. Alright, so we're gonna get this gonk sister out of here. There's no one outside. No one at all. Interesting. Where the hell did that noise come from? Oh, hello. Wait, what? Huh? Who, who is this? Who is this? Got a call from uh, Hal Cantos. Hal Cantos, I guess. I don't know. Uh, guys, a known quantity in the area. Crack BD Tuner. Used to work for WNS News till he got the axe for fraud. His business is strictly street now. Like it even matters. Hal's got himself in an interesting sitch. He was tuning a BD for the mocks and must have fucked up because one of the girls went off the handle after she put on the wreath. Started screaming and shooting at everything that moved. Whoa. Hal managed to find a place to hide, but it's only a matter of time before she gets him. You're going to make sure that doesn't happen. Sending you to the warehouse coordinates where Hal's holed up. Again, in case you missed it, there's an active shooter in the building. Go in with your iron at the ready. Eddie's will reach you only if Hal makes it out alive. Wait, what? Ah, uh, that's... Oh, that's the one over there. Oh, okay. Well, that one sounds like it has a timer on it. The other one can at least wait until after that. But unfortunately, it looks like it'll be after <laughs> this episode's over. Either way, because we're at the end of the time frame. But... I can at least get in here. Hello. Can't say no to that. Okay, so I need to go in here and assume that there is going to be a lot of firing. So I might as well have this out. Okay. So I'm going to end the episode here for right now because we are at the normal end of episode time. And then we'll get done with this guy in a little bit. And then I'll deal with my inventory at some point because that is starting to tick up in a rather distressing way. So thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and doing some rescue missions, mainly trying to build up some scratch, but also trying to help the community at the same time, build up my street cred, so that way you can eventually get that one cool uh, cyber deck. And hopefully that'll be done soon, because boy, <laughs> boy oh boy, I want to be able to get those things, because they're really cool. <laughs> 
and I think the maximum street cred is like 50, so 40 won't even be like near the end of it. Hopefully, hopefully, this brings us up significantly. Because, honestly, I'm starting to get a little annoyed with how much I'm doing grinding. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are too. So, maybe we'll move on to the story after we get these rescue missions done in the next episode for you.